Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about shared neutrals. Can you do it? Let's find out. All right, with the clean board, guys, what I want to do is this. Now, I want to talk about shared neutrals in great detail. Now, the way that it used to be when I first started was 1, 3, and 5 was shared neutral, you know, and then you would put a, uh, a wire label on your neutral. Now, I'm going to tell you uh, the way to do it correct way because it's very important for your guys' sake and anybody else down the road. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, remember how we did this three phase, right? This also goes for single phase, but let's talk about three phase right now. So A, B, and C, right? And we, we're talking about one, three, and five circuits, all right, in a shared neutral. Now, the thing we gotta remember is this, all right? If you have one, three, and five, all right, let's just say this is a, a black, red, and blue, all right, and you have your neutral here, and you break, let's say this is tying these together right here, so you have, this goes to that, that goes to that, and this goes to this. Let's say you break the blue circuit, so this is blue over here too. Now, between this neutral, that's sharing with these other circuits, you're still going to have, you know, a disaster waiting for you. So you've got to be extremely cautious of what's going on here. Now, the correct way to do this, the correct way to do this is, let me erase this, all right? Because I, I, you need to listen to this, guys, because this is important. Now, it's not going to make any sense at first, but you just need to listen. You can share a neutral if... Your breaker, and I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna post a picture right here, so check this picture out. This is the breaker I'm talking about. If the breaker has a handle tie. So you can take one, you can take your one, three, and five in your neutral, all right, to wherever you want to. But that breaker has to have a handle tie. Now, Square D has its own uh, breaker, it's three phase, it has one, basically one handle in the middle and that's that's okay too so i'll leave a picture right here so you guys can see that so that's another way now if you don't have that option all right and let's say you know you don't want to run a handle tie between each of them all right what you're going to have to do is for circuit one neutral circuit three neutral circuit five neutral it's got to have zone neutral. So if you have this, you know, let's say, you know, you have one, three, and five, and then uh, you have a full boat here, and then you have another full boat, let's say two, four, and six. Now full boat, what I consider full boat, so what you call it, is whole circuit, two, four, six, you know, A, B, and C phase with a neutral, or three neutrals, or whatever, all right? We're gonna say that this is, this is it, all right? So now you have two full boats, all right? each neutral. Now, if you're doing it like this where everything has its own neutral, you have to identify what neutral goes with what circuit. That is extremely important. So, for instance, what I personally would do, you could tape them together, and I'm not talking about taping them all the way down, you know, the whole entire wire, just tape them. But this is personally what I would do is I would take a book of numbers and I would put, let's just say we're going to work with circuit two right now. So I would take two this is the neutral, that's the hot. Two hot, right, this is circuit hot, that's a neutral. All right, I would put a number two right here and a number two right here, all right? That way you, it identifies that your circuit two, the hot part of it, is circuit two for one, and then the neutral is number two also. So on the hot, I would circle it with a number two and on the neutral, I would circle with number two, all right? That's the simplest way. It's not the most cheapest way, I guess. It's the most costful way. But tape them together. You have to identify them, you know, for your own sake, for anybody coming down the line, you know, your helper or 10 years down the road when somebody comes, you got to be safe, guys. You have to be safe. Now, if you guys are doing it where you're sharing, all right, so, so this is one neutral here, right? So... In my opinion, with the breaker handle tied together, not with a nail, not with a zip tie, it has to be 
rated from the manufacturer. So if you have a GE brake, you need a GE breaker tie. Square D, square D breaker tie. So on and so forth. Siemens, whatever, okay? It has to be tied together and on that neutral, I would put, all right, here's your neutral. So you, this is your one wire, two wire, three wire, and four wire. On this neutral, it's an overkill, but this is what I would do personally. I would do one, three, and five, just because. Now, you can take a piece of tape, a piece of white tape, and you can write it on there, or you can just tape them all together. So you have four wires kind of like this taped together. Please, guys, do it the right way. Don't get somebody hurt because at the end of the day, everybody wants to go home. Everyone wants to see their family. You don't want to hurt somebody. You don't want to hurt somebody who doesn't know what they're doing either. Like, you know, some person in the warehouse that needs to change something, you know. Because if they get between the neutral, it could be the end of their life. All right. Now, the question was a long time ago from somebody, well, won't the three-phase breaker, if it's tied together, won't it, won't it be, uh, well, first of all, won't it, will it trip, you know? So let's say circuit three trips. Is it going to trip? Yeah, it's going to trip. It's going to trip. I know it doesn't seem like it will, but the only way to fix that, like let's say number three trips, right? All right. And one and five are still on. Well, you're going to have to literally take one, three, and five because they're all tied together. And you're going to turn them back off and then turn it back on. So you're going to have to deal with that. Now, another thing was, well, how, how would you know, like if I opened the panel and I saw all these breakers, one, three, five, seven, nine, 11, so on and so forth, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, all tied together, I would think, oh, that's all three-phase stuff, you know, rooftop units or whatever, heat pumps or whatever. Well, yeah, that's what you normally would think, right? Because you would see that handle tied together. But that is when you need to open the panel cover and look and see what it says, because First of all, everybody who does panels should have a panel schedule. That is important, guys. Please don't skip that because especially if you go in here and you got these three breakers tied together and they're receptacles or they're lights, it's extremely important, guys. Don't skip out on the panel schedule. Keep up with it, all right? You just, it just needs to happen like that. You know, the reason why you tie these together, if you're wondering, you're like, well, still, you're not answering the question. Well, the reason why you tie them together, if you have just one neutral and they're not tied together, right? So you just have one neutral here. And let's say the receptacle goes bad on circuit one, all right? So now we're gonna work with one. We'll just go turn circuit one off, all right? Let's say that circuit in the, let's say you got a wall and they're going through each box. You break that neutral and on circuit three and five, you have something plugged in, let's say um, a computer or a vacuum cleaner or whatever the case may be, whatever it is, a, a heater, you know, little, little floor heaters. <clears throat> and you get between those neutrals, my God, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty devastating for you. It's gonna hurt. If it doesn't kill you, it's, it's really gonna let you know it's there. And this is the reason why you tie the handles together because if you have to work on that circuit, you're forced to turn that off that's sharing the neutral. Now, if you have neutrals on each and every one of them, it ain't gonna matter because you can turn this off and you already know that circuit is literally only for that neutral. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video, main reason other than just to inform you is because back before I got on where I'm working now, we shared neutrals all the time. We would do 135 neutral. <clears throat> And I would do what I told you before. I would put 246 and on the neutral, I would put 246 on the neutral, so I know. But we don't, you don't do that anymore. No that is old code, but if you're in an old building, chances are there is a shared neutral and it's not tied together on your breaker handle like I showed you guys in that picture. So it's important, important, important to keep aware that when you're between neutrals that you don't get zapped because I'm telling you, it's, it's gonna be pretty bad. All right. Please identify your neutrals, guys. Please do it the right way. Please don't skip out on this. You know, put it on the box cover. You know, if you're running a conduit, put it on the box cover. If you don't want it on the outside, put it on the inside of the box cover. Just, just let people know what's going on so they're aware of what is going on because you don't want to hurt nobody. I mean, I, I don't think that you do. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty bad. All right, guys, I'm going to end this right here. If this 
video has brought value to you or any of my content, please make sure that you hit that thumbs up, guys. Also, make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see what happens next. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.